this video, we're going to show that if you have any orthonormal set of vectors in Rn, then it's a basis for Rn. A very simple proof. Proof. Well, first, let's define this orthonormal set. Let S equal U1, U2, up to Un be the orthonormal set in Rn. To show that this set is a basis, well, first of all, in Rn, you have to have n linearly independent vectors to be a basis for Rn. Well, I do have the n vectors. All I have to show is that they're linearly independent. It is enough to verify that set S is a set of linearly independent vectors. So let me take a linear, an arbitrary linear combination and show the scale is must be zero. So consider C1 U1 plus C2 U2 all the way up to ci ui all the way up to cn un equals zero now okay so i'm going to multiply both i'm going to dot both sides of this equation with u sub i so u sub i dotted with C1 U1 plus C2 U2 all the way up to CI UI all the way up to CN UN. This is equal to UI dot zero. U sub I dot zero. So this dot. So this is U sub I dotted with c1 u1 plus u sub i dotted with c2 u2 all the way to u sub i dotted with c i u sub i all the way down to u i times dotted with meant u sub n c n u n and this is equal to u i dot zero okay now, hopefully you see where this is going. Now, I can bring the scalar in front. This is C1 times ui dot u1 plus C2 times ui dot u sub 2 all the way to C sub i times ui dot ui all the way down to C sub n ui dot un and ui dot the zero vector is zero okay now only these two subscripts are the same ui and u1 are different vectors in 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 a uh, orthonormal set so the dot product is zero the dot product is zero the dot product is zero and c sub 1 times 0 is 0, and c sub 2 times 0 is 0, and c times c sub n times 0 is 0. The only thing that survived is this. So let's just write this down equals 0. Now, now this is statement for each i equal 1, 2, all the way up to n. I was 
arbitrary, but between 1 and n. Now, here's the thing. Uh, the only way a dot product let me say it better. The only way you dot a vector with itself and you get zero is if and only if the vectors are zero. This vector is not zero. I know that because its length is one. To be zero, you to buy would have to be zero, 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 zero. So the length of u sub i, that this would imply that the length of u sub i is not 1. But that contradicts that it's in an orthonormal set. So since these are not 0, the dot product can't be 0. Okay, this whole thing is not zero. Okay. Well, let's write that down. Oops. Let's write that down a little bit. Okay. Since the length of u sub i is one, that implies that u sub i is not zero, but that implies that when you dot it with itself, you don't get zero. Okay? Okay. Since c i times u dot u i dot u i is zero, and this is not zero, that implies that c i equals zero for i equal 1, 2, all the way up to n. That is, when you come to this equation, an arbitrary linear combination of the vectors in S. Took an arbitrary linear combination of the vectors in S. And I set it equal to 0. And bingo, I concluded that each and every one of these coefficients are zero. That means, therefore, S is a linearly independent, I can spell it, that's not every time. S is a linearly independent set with n vectors in Rn. Ah. Conclude. Boy, I'm having a bad day here. Conclude that S is a basis. S is a basis for Rn. N linearly independent set, sorry, N linearly independent vectors in Rn is a basis for Rn. Okay, this completes this proof. If you like quick proofs like this, please subscribe to my channel. All we do are mathematical proofs. Have a great day. See you in the next video. Watch and learn.